Hey guys, just wanted to show you how to change the volume HUD graphic on your iPhone. So what am I talking about? This is the graphic you're presented with by default. Slightly tweaked because I'm running a prestige HD theme. But the main graphic in the middle is what you're presented with and that's what I'm looking to change. Um, you can find alternative volume HUD graphics in other theme packs or you can just find them on the internet. I'm going to use the volume HUD graphic from the Twilight Z3 Volution theme and apply that while running the Prestige HD theme which doesn't actually have a customized volume HUD itself. So I'm going to use iFile to do this but you can use SHS, SH, SSH even on your uh, Mac with Cyberduck or WinSCP on a Windows device. Um, so let me just come right out to the root directory, show you exactly where you need to go. To, so to start off with you're going to go into System library, then you're going to need core services and find springboard.app. Now within this there's three files that relate to the volume HUD. The first of those files is called ring2x.png so we just look for that and there it was, ring2x.png so what I'm going to do with these, I'm just going to go ahead and we're just going to rename them. So I'll just put a ridge underscore onto that one. That's done. Uh, the next one is called Silent, I believe. Yep, Silent 2XPNG. So we tap on that. Again, we just prefix it with a ridge. This makes it pretty simple if you ever want to go back to the original one. Yeah, let's say OK to that. And the third one is called Speaker 2XPNG. So again, exactly the same again. Let's just, yeah, just do that with that. So once you've renamed the originals, you can copy and paste in the new ones. Now, for me, the new ones are going to be found in var stash themes and I liked the ones from the 3 evolution theme which is this INZ TW3 so we go in there folders and this one has its own springboard.app and within there we'll find the files we need so let's go down to ring if you hit edit, you can just say, you can select the ring to XPNG, silent. You'll notice a silent one is actually 2x tilde iPhone PNG. So I'm not sure if you need to rename this or not, but when we copy it into the other one, I'll rename it as the same as the original and speaker. Hit your little clipboard, say copy link. And we're done. Now we can go back into the original folder. Need to come all the way out of this. And we can hit up system, library, oops, course services, springboard.app. We say edit, get our clipboard, paste those ones in. They copy those ones in right away. So I'm not sure if you need to change the um, the file name on the uh, on the silent one. We'll see in a second. But let's just test that out. Perhaps we need a respring because it hasn't changed it just yet. So I'm just going to go ahead, respring the device. Come back to you in a second. Okay, so I've respring my device. So now you can see the graphics have been changed. And it's much nicer speaker graphic, in my opinion. Um, so that's what it looks like there. That's the silent. And then back on. So yeah, that's pretty much all you need to do. Thanks a lot for watching.